Hey there, Rust. It's been a while. Sure has, Snoop. Still walking the beat? Not lately. I finally took some time out to sort things out. He's pretending he's retired. It takes a lot out of him, apparently. Well, you couldn't have picked a worse time to retire, Snoop. Things are getting close to boiling point down in the city. What's going on, Rust? Wish I could tell you, Bear. I'm as clueless as the rest of them. One thing I know is that I was working at the steel mill one day. The damn place got blown up. We've heard rumors about some red man. Know anything about that? I sure do. He's the damn reason all this is happening, Bear. So this red shows up down in PC. This was a week ago. He goes after the thugs first. Gathers information and such. No one thought nothing of it. Couple of beaten up low lops here and there. It's a gum trade with these guys, you know? Then, the fire started. I hear a couple of guys down from the coal district gathered a posse, trying to corner this bird. No one heard from them since. And those guys are miners, Bear. They're as tough as nails. Who is? Those guys, Ted. What kind of information is he after? Well, here's the funny part, Snoop. I heard he was asking a lot of questions about our beloved miss here. That's why I'm here. After Doris and the kids left the city, I figure I'd come here and make sure Amber stays safe. Now, don't you be dragging her on one of your ill-advised adventures, Bear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Anyways, why would this guy be going around asking about her? You know anything about this, doll? Anyone whose life you're messing with? Besides mine, I mean. Angry boyfriend, perhaps? Don't get smart. I never heard of this red guy until tonight. Besides, you're the only man in my life, Bear. Who's getting smart now? So, what kind of information is this guy after, Rust? Haven't I told you about this already? He's asking about our little miss here. Is he alright? He's fine. He's just sleepy and grumpy, and, like, totally not drunk. Nah, I'm fine. I'm just sleepy and grumpy because she dragged me out in the middle of the night on some wild goose chase. Nice to see you two are getting along after all these years. We've heard the city is in lockdown. Sure is. It's been like that since the mill exploded. The official statement is that there was a gas leak down at the basement level, but we all know better. So you think it wasn't an accident? You think someone is trying to cover something up? I wouldn't go that far, miss. My suspicion is that the officials don't want to make a big deal out of it. Keep the folks at ease. What about the mill owner, that Deeds fellow? He made any enemies lately? Filed any big insurance claim or something? Nah, Bear. Mr. Deeds is a straight-up bird. Besides, his son was down at the mill when it happened. He had got a little ear buzz is all. So no one leaves or enters the city at this point? That's what the lockdown implies, Bear. Folks are still escaping, though. I hear some of them got here through the tunnels. Them mugshot boys were the first to flee, and poor old Millie. I hear she got here safe. Millie's in my room. She's resting. Bless your kind heart, little miss. I'll stay here in the hallway. Keep an eye out. Can you do it, Rust? You seem kind of tired. I ain't no bunny, little miss. Some buster tries to pull a fast one on me, I'll give him a little chin music before I drop a dime on him to the elbows. Um, what? He's saying he can do it. How'd you escape? I used the East Tunnel maintenance shaft, but the thing was getting close to collapsing. I think they closed it off completely after I got through. Have you seen Flint, Rusty? Millie told me he might be missing. I'm sorry, little miss. I'm afraid I haven't seen your brother. But I'm sure he's fine. Flint is a tough kid. Besides, no one has left or entered this room since I got here. You know anything about the Yellow King? Not really. I guess they left the thing wide open. Like, open to interpretation. I personally didn't think much of it. Well, we better get cracking. Catch you later, Rust. Sure thing, Snoop. Thank you, Rusty. Bye. Bye, little miss. Don't worry about your brother. I'm sure he's all right.
this hole leads to Flint's room. It's covered in cobwebs, though. That's so gross. Go in, Ted, and check it out. I'll wait for you here. I'm sorry, doll. As much as crawling through spider-infested holes sounds appealing to me. I have to pass. See, spiders tend to nest in my fur, and then I have to take a bath and go through this whole fumigation process. It's a mess. It's a small boat in the middle of a storm. I hope they made it out. You know how they say, doll. It's not the size of the boat, but the motion in the ocean. What does that even mean? I think it means that it doesn't really matter how big the ship is. It will probably sink if the storm is strong enough. Such a tragedy. It's Anubis, protector of the deceased. It's so common you would think people have an almost unnatural fascination with death. Just shining away. I have a similar one in my room. You have the same lamp in your room. It's just asset reuse. Those lazy artists. Hey, a flashlight. But there are no batteries inside. There's bound to be some in the house. We can ask Rusty if he'll give us one of his. I'll take the flashlight with me. So many places to visit. If I had a lot of money, I would spin this and travel to where my finger lands. Hopefully not in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. Let's take this bad boy for a spin. I've always loved this painting. It looks familiar in a way. I feel like I've been there before. <laughs> yeah, how come you're not in it? It's a decorative plaque of some sort, or an award for wood chopping? I don't really know. It's growing from the sand. Aren't you perceptive, doll? You should have been a detective. And you should have been a ten-year-old girl, because you throw like one. What the hell? What was that? I don't know, Ted. Lights? Tricks? Yeah, I guess. I'm getting too old for this. Thing. This thing. Yeah, sounds right. Not really. Rust, we need a big favor. What's this about, Bear? Rusty, we need a battery for our flashlight. We thought you could help us out. Sure, I got batteries, but here's the problem, miss. If I give you a battery, I gotta shut down for the rest of the night, and I have to keep an eye out. We could take some of that edge off, Rust. Why don't you rest your eyes for a bit and let me and the doll here take over? You? <laughs> No offense, Bear. I respect you as much as anyone in Paper City, but this here is different. I don't think you could handle this red guy on your own. You should take care of Miss and Millie and leave the patrol to me. Are you saying I'm not qualified for watch duty? We have to wrap this thing up. Fast. There's a bottle of carrot juice in my desk that's longing for my return. We can keep an eye out for anyone suspicious in the meantime. Besides, you know I'm more than qualified. That nasty business from a couple of years ago with them robots going missing. I was the one that brought that whole shady affair down and you know it. Are you trying to play me, Ben? I know you had nothing to do with that. That thing went so high up, there's no chance in hell Snoop like you even got close to wrapping it up. You seem to have blown a fuse there, Rust. It was me who cracked that case and I can prove it. I have the case file and the credentials handed to me by the commissioner in my office somewhere. Okay, okay, settle down there, Bear. Let's make a deal. You show me the credentials, and I'll hand over the battery. It's not that I don't believe you. I just want to make sure you're not playing me, is all. Can't you give us just one battery, Rusty? You'll still have a couple of them left, right? Here's the thing, little miss. It's a closed circuit. She knows. She's just playing on your soft side, Rust. Ted and Amber move away. Oh my god, Ted, you're not supposed to read the brackets. A do-over? Keep it rolling! We should get to my office, doll. There's an old file I have to find. 
What's this whole deal about anyways? Why can't he just give us a battery? We can keep an eye out. Rust is having a hard time coping with what happened. He worked in that mill for over 20 years, and now, suddenly, he's got nothing to do. Let's just do this to humor him. Poor Rust. Okay, you're right. Let's find that file. I think by the time this is over, we're going to meet a lot of people in his position. There should be an old file here somewhere. Nasty business from a couple of years ago. The robot union hired me to look into several cases of robot kidnappings. I remember. That CEO of Illuminarium, Skinner, used robot parts to manufacture headlights at low prices. Yep, I brought down that whole shady deal. Almost got shot in the process. Rust finds me unqualified for lookout duty. Probably thinks I'm a burnout. You're not a burnout, Ted. I mean, you were more driven before, but I understand you've had a lot on your mind lately. Anyways, I'm really glad you're with me on this one. Sure thing, doll. What am I going to say no to you? Thanks, Ted. Don't mention it, partner. The light is off. I bet someone wasn't paying his electric bills. Left there for research purposes. We should search my office for that old file. There. Is this it? Yep, that's the one. Let's head back to that hothead robot. Oh, so nice to see you two working together again. True friendship is never- Okay, forget it. I'm going back to the office. Mr. Bear, I know you wouldn't let Little Miss wander around alone, now would you? Why? Is your exaggeration after her? Listen here, Mr. Bear. Little Miss needs your help. Her brother is missing. Now you clean yourself up, get your head straight, and help her out, or else. Yeah, that's right, Mr. Bear. Sure, gang up on me. Anyways, we should get going. I don't have all night. painting, or is it? I see three anthropomorphic mailboxes dancing to the captivating beats of the J. Summers Jazz Quartet. My old trusty lamp. I never walk around this hallway without her. A save point. Nah, just kidding. What is this, Resident Evil? We have autosave, you dingus. It's a small house in the country. It looks so peaceful there. I wish I had more time to appreciate every piece of art I come across. I just love these old paintings. If I fail in my quest to become a world-renowned novelist and Pulitzer Prize winner, maybe I'll become a painter. Sure. Are they letting just anyone be a painter these days? Hey, I'm only 10 years old. The world is my oyster. Please, whoever finds this log, I'm one of the developers for Bear With Me. I, I didn't want to do it. They've made me. Please send some... Oh no, I can hear him coming. Wow, that's just disturbing. Yep.
There you go, buddy. Signed and authorized by Commissioner Locke himself. Anyways, we really need that battery now, Rust. Time's a factor here. So it was you. I'll be damned. That was a big deal for us robots, you know? I always held you in high regard, Bear. But you just earned my utmost admiration, let me tell you. You can have my battery. I can use a little shut-eye, to be honest. Keep an eye out, and keep little miss here safe. Oh, and check on Millie from time to time. Make sure she's all right. Thanks, Rust. We won't let you down. Thank you so much, Rusty. Get some sleep. We'll wake you up in the morning. Hey, I got it working. to clean around the house. This duster may come in handy. I'll take it with me just in case. It's full of uninteresting stuff. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Who will be a beautiful princess who's bound to live a long and happy life in a castle somewhere in France and have lots of ponies? Um, you are Amber, like for totes. I knew it. Did that thing just talk? I don't know, did it? What's happening? What is this? Doll, you seeing this? I... I... I don't know, Ted. What was that? It's fine. It's nothing, probably. It's the middle of the night and the light is playing tricks on us. Let's go. There, I cleaned it up. Go crawl through. Why don't you crawl through? Obviously, I can't fit. Otherwise, I would totally do it. Sure you would. The case was spinning out of control. So fast, I had to hold under my hat. Nothing made sense, and it was getting more twisted by the minute. We've come across an old buddy of mine, who has suddenly found himself out of purpose and place. The steel mill, where Rust worked for years, got blown to bits. Under the hard work, honest people lost their jobs overnight. The police are writing it off as an accident. Coincidentally, there were a lot of accidents this past week. The whole damn city was burning up and no one was doing anything about it. Did I pick the wrong time to get out of that dump? According to Rust and Millie, one man is responsible for all this mayhem. In one week, He's become a synonym for fear throughout the city, and police and thugs alike are shuddering at the mention of his name. They call him the Red Man. I have a strong feeling in my gut. It's all somehow connect tirement, the fires, and the official cover-up. What happened to Flint, the Red Man? It's all leading to her. I feel she is the key to all of this. The last piece of the puzzle I have to solve. Does she know more than she's led me to believe? Or have I let my suspicions get the better of me? It's hard for me to admit this. It's also downright stupid. But I've let myself trust her over the years we've worked together. And I have to trust her now. Sooner or later, we'll find ourselves back in that hellhole of the city. This bond have with her will be the only threat I'll have to hold on to when things go from bad to worse. In Paper City, all bets are off, but the stakes were never as high as now. <laughs> 